Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going back to a series that I used to do, I would say at least a year or two ago on my channel, called 4x4s. Today's 4x4 is going to be on Shop Masse and specifically their in-house brand AOA Studio. So if you haven't seen any of my 4x4 videos, I'll throw a playlist up in the cards. I believe I should have a playlist. But essentially, a 4x4 was a way for me to do kind of like a condensed brand review where I really only did them on brands where I had tested out a lot of their products. And I picked out my top four favorite products from the brand and then my top four least favorite, like stay away from these products ever from the brand as well. So it was an easy and kind of quick way to do a well-rounded review of a brand and I forgot what brands I did like previously I think I know I did color pop at one point and I did a couple others so make sure you check out that playlist um, but I've had it just like in the back of like my planning notebook for YouTube three other brands that I wanted to do and shop miss a was one of them and I finally feel like now I've tried enough products where I can give a really really good balanced four by four so let's start with the top four favorite products and to be quite honest if you've seen any of my other shop miss a videos I don't think these are gonna be like super surprising these top aren't really in any order just because I feel like I like all of these products too much to rank them like it within each other. Uh, but product number one isn't really a makeup product. Uh, I do have some like non-makeup products in here, uh, but that's the Black Teardrop Sponge. This has been one of my favorite products from Shop Miss A for literal years. You can go back and see uh, like when I first discovered this and how shocked and happy I was. This is literally the only beauty blender type sponge that I use now. I have about 10 of these open right now. Half of them are like the nude sponge, then half of the black. I just prefer the black because, yeah. <laughs> They're easy to clean. They last really long. Like, um, I think you're only supposed to keep beauty blenders for like three or six months. And typically I keep these for that full amount of time. They don't break down. I wash them all the time. Um, they don't break down. They don't fall apart. They're just really, really good. And they, la they last a long time and they're a dollar. Just like, mm, amazing. <laughs> My next favorite product is a foundation product, and this is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I was shocked by how much I love this dollar foundation. The only downside to this foundation is that it's only 0.6 ounces instead of like a full ounce, and I wish they would make a bigger version of this that was slightly more than a dollar because I would buy it because I love this so much. And if I put it in my everyday makeup basket, there is a very high chance I will just use this foundation until it runs out because I love it. It looks amazing on my skin. It is really good medium buildable coverage, but it feels so lightweight. Like you can have almost full coverage and like not feel like you're wearing anything, which is a lot for a foundation to do, but especially for a $1 foundation. Like it really blew me out of the water. It is fantastic. They also have a really good shade range. The only downside or another downside that they do have is that this, when it first came out until fairly recently, a lot of the shades were sold out. So you couldn't really get your hands on it for a bit. Um, but I do believe as of now, well, they're doing a big Memorial Day sale this weekend. So I don't know if it's all in stock like at this minute, but the last time I placed an order and the last time I got PR, I did see that they had all of these foundations in stock, which is very nice to see. Next in my top four from Shop Miss A is the Paw Paw Liquid Concealer. This concealer, oh my god. This again has a really good shade range. This being from the Paw Paw line is just over a dollar. I believe it's a dollar fifty-five per tube. Um, I don't think I've used up, uh, I think I have used up one full tube, um, but they do last a long, long time. I have two shades here. I have Porcelain and I have Fair Ivory. Depending on what shade of foundation I'm wearing, I can use either of these on my under eyes. Um, I just don't like these for spot concealing. They're not the best for spot concealing, um, but for under my eyes and as eye primer, amazing. I love these so much. Um, these are sweat proof because I tend to start sweating like right here where my concealer meets my foundation. So having a good sweat proof concealer is key in the summer. It's just beautiful, like full coverage. It lasts well throughout a full day. It makes me like look smooth when I know I have five lines under my eyes, but it smooths them out and works well with a whole bunch of different powders on my under eyes, higher end powders, lower end powders, just beautiful so amazing <laughs> and i think that is why i'm so in love with shop miss a is like if you can get these good base everyday products down and get them for like the cheapest 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 then you can save your money and kind of splurge on like the other stuff that you really want to get but you're not downplaying quality like you can get really really cheap products but the quality I'm, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, and the last on my top four is, it's kind of a, a mush together of a bunch of different products, but it's their brushes. I've tried a bunch of their brushes by this point, and I have to say, I am actually very impressed with their brush line. I believe right here I have three, so I've tried out three different 
um, brush lines from them. So first is, this is actually a set that you get. This is the rose gold brush set, and it comes with all these brushes right here. My favorites have been these three. This one is a flat paddle brush that I use to put on primer. It's been like fantastic for that. Um, next, I have this kind of angled brush that I use for bronzer. I've really been liking this, and the, the handles are a little bit shorter than like your typical makeup brush like here in the rose gold set, but like I have small hands and I actually really like the length and size of these brushes really well. And last but not least, the one that surprised me the most from this rose gold set was this. I, at first, I wasn't quite sure exactly what it was supposed to be, um, but then I used it to put on my foundation. This is like the only brush that I, I've ever used where I put a foundation on and it looks good enough to the point where I don't have to smooth it out with a beauty blender. I don't know what kind of, is it just the shape of the brush? Is it just the bristles? I don't know, but it just, it looks great. And I've tried it with several different foundations and it works every time and I'm shocked. So I really like this for just foundation or concealer. The other set that I purchased from them was for the eyes and I'm actually working on, um, doing an updated video with all of my kind of everyday go-to brushes and a lot of them are going to include the Shop Miss A ones and those I ones so just keep your eyes out for that when it comes out and the last kind of set of brushes that I tried out these are all from the same line but you do buy them individually and individually they're a dollar each um, so this is basically a dupe for the, the flat top kabuki from Sigma but this one is actually really really good and it's a dollar. <laughs> I was shocked by how much I like this, like using it side by side of the Sigma. And this is their High Def Brush F1. So this one's fantastic. These three are all kind of the same style, but different sizes. So this is the F12. I use this for all over powder and it's very nice. Next we have the F20 and this has kind of been my solution to my need for a, a medium size, but still kind of fluffy blush brush. So this has been my new go-to blush brush. I just cleaned it. I cleaned all my brushes for this video or I did my best to. <laughs> and I just, I really like this one. This is like the perfect in-between between like a big fluffy brush brush, but then like blushes, like blush brushes look like this. Like I think technically this one is a blush brush and this one's supposed to be a powder brush, but this is the exact size that I need for blush and I really like it. And that is the F20. Last but not least, this I believe, like I said, is their blush brush. This is the F13. I use this to brush off my bake. So I use this to brush, brush off powder all over my face and it just works really well. And I like it. So yes, all these brushes are fantastic and they were either in the kit where it's like 10 brushes for $10 or they're individually a dollar each. And I really like them. So keep your eyes out. I am going to come out with an updated video where I talk about all the brushes I use daily in my everyday makeup routine. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when that comes out. Okay, before we move on to like the bottom four products from Shop Miss A, I had two honorable mentions that didn't quite make the top four that I just wanted to mention. First is their entire line of these velvet lips. These are um, a satin liquid foundation. It's liquid foundation. These are a satin liquid lipstick that are so comfortable and beautiful. I got the whole line sent to me in PR and they are beautiful. They're stunning. Um, my only complaint here is I love the formula and I really like wearing it, but the entire line that they came out with, they're all pinky or purpley or red. They don't have anything that's like a true neutral or like colors like black or green. Like I want this formula in every color. Like I want a true neutral, like no pinky base to it. I want deeper brown shades. I just want every color basically, but these are really comfortable. They look fantastic. I love the packaging. They're adorable, um, but I, I just want them in more colors, please. <laughs> the last honorable mention is kind of a random one, um, but this is from Oki, which I believe is their housewares indoor line. So it's not shop, it's not AOA studio, but it is still Shop Miss A's house brand, but just for housewares. They have these hand sanitizers. They're just minis for a dollar and they look just like the ones you get at Bath and Body Works, but the Bath and Body Works, I believe are $1.25 or $1.50. These are just a flat dollar and they work just as well, if not better, because I like these scents better. Um, I just got the uh, rose water and then this is lavender. I love the rose water one. It smells just like roses and it's a really good sanitizer. Um, I keep this one right by our front door and I use it whenever, you know, we need it coming in or out. Um, and then the lavender one I have on standby in my purse because I also keep um, a mini hand sanitizer in my purse at all times. Okay, so let's get into the worst products because they're, it's, unfortunately, Shop Miss A does have some duds, and here they are. Uh, the first dud um, is their mascara. I don't think I've tried a single mascara from their AOA Studio line that I've liked. Uh, this one does nothing for my lashes other than turn them black, which is great when I'm wearing today, like I'm wearing falsies, so I just want to have something that literally just makes my lashes black so they blend into the falsies. Great, it works. But no, <laughs> There's, it just doesn't really do anything. Uh, I tried a few of their different house mascaras at this point in time, and just none of them are really anything to write home about. And especially now when you can find really great affordable mascaras, 
they gotta step up their game. Next, unfortunately, I don't think they found their footing here yet, but eyeshadow palettes. They keep coming out with like these large, like kind of bulky eyeshadow palettes and the formula is just trash. I think out of all the ones that I've tried so far, I found like one or two that actually work decently, but they need to step away from those big eyeshadow palettes and start working on something that's smaller. I actually just saw that they came out with new quads and they're called Papa quads. So they're from that Papa kind of house line. Um, I am going to pick those up. I don't know if they're sending them to me in PR or if I'm gonna go ahead and buy them. Either way, I'm gonna get them and test them out. But up until this point, the eyeshadows have not been great. So I'm hoping that with this new, this new release that they're getting, you know, a better foothold into the eyeshadow realm. Is that a weird way to put it? <laughs> Number three for the bottom four products from Shop Missy, their primer and setting sprays. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan. Like they they work okay. Um, I got the package. They had um, a bundle. You can get one primer and one setting spray. Their primer spray, I really don't think it do it. It did anything. Like it just it made my face wet. That's about it. The setting spray worked okay, but again, we're at a point now where you can find so many great setting sprays at the drugstore. I could throw you one right here. Uh, the Milani Make It Last, fantastic. Even the little Wet n Wild, what? let me throw it. These little Wet n Wild ones are fantastic and they're cheap and they're accessible and they're great and they have scents that are really nice. So it is really hard to stand out there. And for the, and for Shop Missé, the two options that they had so far aren't cutting it. I would really like to see them come out with like a bigger bottle, kind of like the Milani Make It Last setting spray, and maybe do some scented setting sprays. Maybe not too heavily scented, because I know people's sensitive skin can't do those, but I, I just, I love a good rose scented spray. I just love a good rose scented anything, you know? Um, maybe have an unscented, a nice rose scented spray, and actually have it be like an effective setting spray, because again, you can find really good setting sprays at the drugstore. All right, and last and certainly least, I think the worst experience I had with the Shop Missé product was with their original brow mascara. I bought that brow mascara. So it was a brow gel. I bought it in clear and then I bought two of the brown shades to see if either one of them would match me. The clear one arrived completely dried and gunked out and it wasn't even clear. It was white. <laughs> Disgusting. So I didn't even get to use that one. And then the two brown shades, they were way too warm brown. I really like a dark, cool black for my hair and my brows. Um, so they were just the wrong shade. And then even like using them, they don't dry down. So like my brows were just wet all day <laughs> so it, it was just like le like legitimately i think it was the worst brow product i had ever tried now that being said i do think there may be hope on the horizon for their brow gels because they did just announce i think literally like yesterday or the day before that they reformulated and they're coming out with brand new brow gels i think they're calling them brow mascaras so again another product i need to test out i don't know if i'm gonna get it in pr or if i'm gonna go ahead and buy it either way i'm gonna try it and let you know if Hopefully it's any better. So that is it. That is everything for my four x four from Shop Miss A's AOA Studio line. Let me know down below if you agree with my rankings. If you had any other duds from Shop Miss A, let me know down below. Also, let me know what are the brands you want to see me do in this four x four because I really do want to start this um, series up again. The two brands that I was thinking of doing next was actually one I think is completely shutting down. I don't know if it'll still be useful anymore. I was thinking of doing Kylie Cosmetics because I do have enough of a listing for that one. And then one I'm really excited about, I think I can do Natasha Denona. I think that'd be a really fun 4x4. Four four. So if you want to see those, let me know. Or if you have any other brand suggestions, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.